This is looking a little rough. I don't even know. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Help me, I'm a customer. I'm hyped. Very hyped. What's up guys, Teddy Baldessar here. And in this video, we're gonna do something a little bit different. So what we're gonna be doing is going to four different retail locations, mainstream retail locations, to find the best deals for watches. What I'm gonna do is buy one watch at each of the stops that we're gonna make throughout the day, and then come back here, we'll do a deeper dive and review of each of the watches. Each one of the watches that I purchase are going to be given away on my Instagram. So these are gonna be Instagram exclusive giveaways. So if you want to be entered to win that giveaway, fill out the watch giveaway form and then be sure to be following me on Instagram as well. So guys, let's go. So let's go see what Walmart has to offer. Oh boy, here we go. This is looking a little rough. Yeah, it's, I don't see good value for money. Oh, here we go. Casio World Time, not bad. Honestly, these are pretty good deals. These aren't bad. I gotta find somebody to help us out. That actually might be more of a challenge to find a good watch. I need to be served. There's, there's, there's some watches in there I wanna look at. They got us. Right there, cool. Yeah. All right, guys, we're cold. <laughs> Blue one. Mm. They actually have some nice watches, to be honest. A lot of Timex. Timex, no Casio, no. Oh, there we go. Here's our more of our budget. Casio F91W. Blue. 30 bucks though. 30 bucks for that though? Come on. You can buy one of these for 10 bucks. So that's pretty inflated. I knew they would have decent watches. It's just you can't you can't justify those price points. I mean you Alright guys, so our next stop is Target. So let's go see what they have in their watch section. Okay, I see a lot of Timex. I'm gonna go for something a little more subtle, you know? Low profile. $42. $39 for a weekender. $39. That's not too bad. We got some P-Shot. And Waterbury or Weekender. The Expedition's not bad either. I just think really classic styling, you know? $34. That is not bad for this watch. We didn't have high expectations. No, not surprised at all by what we we're seeing here. Ooh. Ooh. Alright guys, so we have our last stop of the day here. We're at Macy's. And I expect very similar to what we saw at Kohl's. I think we'll probably have like Movados, we'll have Seikos of some sort, but I'm intrigued. There could be some good deals here, but let's go in and see what they have to offer. I have no idea what we know. I think we have to go upstairs. I think we have to go upstairs. All right. We might have to go talk to an associate here, get some help. Bull of us here. Can I even see the price? Got some automatics. Hmm. 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 I called it Movado. I called it. Got some Seikos. Actually, I got some, they got some decent Seikos here. So we're getting some turtles here, got some good divers. These aren't bad, man. I don't know what the price, I can't see the prices though. 25% off, look at 25% off. Let's see, let's see if they're right. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Let's keep, let's keep, let's get some prospects here. I mean, these are nice watches. They really are. I just don't know if they're gonna be good deals for the money. Yeah, we're not really getting much customer service. This Eco Drive is not bad. I kind of like that Eco Drive. Yeah, not feeling the ball this year. All right, guys, we've been standing here for about 15 minutes, and nobody's come to help us out yet. He's gonna look at some Seikos. We'll see. We'll give him a couple more minutes. There might be some hope, guys. I think I see an associate over there. Help me, I'm a customer. Okay, which one? Out of the blue. This one? Yeah, the one up front. I'm hyped. Very hyped. So, let's go back now to the studio. Let's look a deeper dive at all these watches. See who came out on top. But guys, before we jump into looking at each one of these watches, if you like this video so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. I wanna do more of these types of videos, so this is a great indicator for me if you guys wanna see that in the future. All right, guys, we're back in the studio. So let's take a closer look at each one of our watch purchases. Our first purchase was the one that we made at Walmart, and we purchased the Casio Duro. So the Casio Duro, I will say this, it looks better in person than in photos. And for the price point that we were able to find this watch for, including tax, $58, this really is an awesome watch for the money. You can find these watches on other online retailers between $40 to $50, but hey, what are you gonna do? Case size here is 44 millimeters, powered by a quartz movement, water resistance up to 200 meters as well. And I'd say that this watch is a great find, but not necessarily a great deal considering 
and you can find it for other places for cheaper. But Walmart though, if you are looking for say G-Shocks, Casios, I think Walmart is actually a pretty suitable place to look. So that's Walmart, let's move on to Target. So when we went to Target, there was a lot of fashion watches, but also a ton of Timex watches. And the Timex that I decided to go ahead and purchase was the Timex Easy Reader. This watch we were able to get for a $35 price point. Considering on Timex's website, you'd need to pay $50. I don't think we came out with a bad deal here. This watch has great legibility, hence the name, but you definitely would wanna put this on a better looking strap here. On top of that, I don't necessarily love the time setting with the actual crown. It is very hard to get your fingers around this thing as well as it is very slow to actually change the time. But this watch comes in with a 35 millimeter case powered by a quartz movement and has water resistance of 30 meters. Okay guys, now for our third stop, we had Kohl's. So for Kohl's, we decided to go with another Casio. It was the Casio MW240 7BV. This watch came in price point at Kohl's at $26. This is certainly overpaying a bit and I think that was really the story here for Kohl's in general. The thing that really epitomized it was finding the Casio F91W on sale there for $30, where you can find that watch. Sure, a little bit different than the variant that we showed at the beginning, but still you could get one of these watches for $10 online. And that was really the problem with Kohl's when I was going through there. Great selection of watches, just a little bit too expensive. This watch comes with a case size of 42 millimeters, powered by a quartz movement and has water resistance of 50 meters. And then our last place that we stopped, Macy's, we picked up the Seiko SRPC 93. So we were able to get this watch for a pretty solid price point of $330. The retail price was $525, but I know that's very inflated. Uh, most of these watches are gonna be found around $400. You can find it for around that price on Seiko's USA's website. So I think we got a pretty good deal here, honestly. Case size, it's 44 millimeters, and this is a very large watch. When wearing this, it is very large on my wrist. I could never really pull this off. Uh, it's powered by an automatic Seiko 4R35 movement. And yes, it is an automatic watch, despite what the associate behind the counter at Macy's was telling me that all Seiko watches were solar. I bit my tongue. I didn't want to put them on blast there as uh, I was buying my Seiko watch, but pretty funny. Water resistance of 200 meters, and this also meets ISO diving standards as well. And I think the one thing that needs to be said about this watch is the beautiful blue gradient dial. It absolutely stood out when I was looking through the display cases and really was the reason why I wanted to really take a look at what is the price of this thing. I want to see if I can get this thing at a good deal. So my verdict here, I think if I had to rank my overall experience for all these places, looking at Walmart, was not really impressed with the selection of watches unless you're going there for a Casio G-Shock or some other Casio. On top of that, the actual customer service was pretty non-existent. And then when we finally did get somebody to come over, they took five minutes to actually open up the case to actually get the watch. So it was a bit of a struggle. Target just had very limited selection. I think they have more fashion oriented pieces. They actually do have good clothes at Target. So I think they kind of go hand in hand. It's more style over function. And then Kohl's, like I've mentioned earlier, just way too expensive for what you're getting. They have great watches there. They have Bulova, Citizen, Seiko's, very similar selection, actually a larger selection than what you would find at Macy's, but the price points were just really steep. And that's kind of why I decided to go with the Casio here. And then Macy's finally, when we were finally able to get help after 15 minutes, I was pretty impressed with the deal that we were able to get as well as the amount of selection that they had available. Coming out with that Seiko SRPC 93 for $330, I think is a pretty good deal. You might be able to find one online for a little bit cheaper, but considering that I can go right down the street pick one of these up for a very competitive price. I think that was the deal of the day. And I think I have to give the nod to Macy's for having the best deal on our journey here today. So guys, I'm gonna be giving away all these watches, probably three of the four in the upcoming week. I might wait on the Seiko a little bit because I'd like to do a deeper review of that watch specifically. So if you do wanna have the opportunity to win one of those watches, fill out the watch giveaway form and make sure to be following me on Instagram. That'll be an Instagram exclusive giveaway that we'll do. But out of all these watches, what do you think is the best deal for the money? I think the Seiko comes out on top. Love to see comments down below. And then what other stores do you think, maybe if we did a part two of this series where you'd want us to go? I like the idea of maybe going to thrift shops and like garage sales and trying to do this. That would be a lot of fun as well. But guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell icon. If you're trying to get the most out of your watch, don't overlook great watch straps. So many people think about just watches in general. They don't think about what's gonna take their watch to the next level. On my website, I have some of the best straps for the money in the industry. So definitely go over there. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.